you wanna you wanna play Apex Legends? Did you try a few matches of Apex Legends? Did you try that game? And oh yeah. <laughs> So my first game ever was on stream with the streamer Amelie, uh, uh-huh. another voice actor friend of mine. Uh, and so it was it was myself and her and a whole bunch of the other legends. And uh, they said that, you know, if you wanted to play, you could jump in and play. And I said I would be willing to give it a shot. I'd never tried the game before, but I had it downloaded and updated. And, you know, <laughs> I'd gone in just long enough to decide that I didn't like a whole bunch of the key lines and went in and like rebound a lot of things. <laughs> Um, and then, which by the way, if you do that and you're learning the game, it makes it very hard for anybody else to tell you what you should be doing. Cause they'll yeah. be like, Oh, just press blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it isn't doing anything. I probably <laughs> changed it and then forgot what I changed it to. Mm. I'd go, we got creamed and, and almost no one felt like playing that day. So I was in every oh, game no. just dragging the team down, getting like, you know, two damage, zero kills, zero assists. <laughs> Um, it was, it was a lot of fun though. And I ended up playing a lot yesterday and it's growing on me. I think, I think it's, I don't play a lot of games. I want to say the last time I played a game that had this level of like bullet drop and having to lead the targets, like travel time Mm -hmm. was probably the planet side, like planet side two. two. Um, and I, I don't play a lot of games like that. So, so I, I adore bows in games. I play destiny too. I love the bows in that game and I'm, quite good at them um but i was i spent about 15 minutes in the practice range like missing the far target just being like how 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 is that supposed to happen (laughs) um so there's gonna be a little bit of an adjustment period but i love it i love the world i'll tell you this though and i haven't been um you know when you book a role like this they don't immediately welcome you into the family and introduce you to every other person in the cast so I've only known the rest of the legends personally for maybe a week now, but that's all it took. Jumping into the game now, my brain is just short circuiting left and right now that I've been in group chats with them. And all I'm hearing is like my new friends just like coming into my ear left and right. (laughs) I was playing with Ben Prendergast. uh, And so hearing him playing as Fuse while also talking on comms, is just like breaking my brain and melting me while we're playing. (laughs) Back on Salvo, they call me the Grenado Tornado. That's an experience I've never had before um, to, to, and I think it's because so many of the characters are so close to sort of our authentic mm-hmm. selves, if you can call it that, um, with very few exceptions. Uh, you know, like Justine puts on uh, uh, an accent for Watson and obviously, uh, you know, uh, Anjali Bamani sounds quite different from Rampart. Um, <laughs> but there are a number of us that sound very, very close to our legends. And mm-hmm. so being on a team with uh with with Valkyrie having just had coffee with Eric Ishii is just it's it it sabotages your brain like things just are just short circuiting left and right because you feel like you want to turn around like someone's in your room talking to you when it's in fact it's coming out of the game it's it's so hard to describe that experience I hope I did that justice 